Hi, Pedro. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine, and you? How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> to finish it too. I uh, saw the Vikingo in the Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What are you watching? Um, Vikingo. The, ah, the in the yeah. Netflix. Yeah. Ragnar. Ragnar. I don't remember the, the, the order. <laughs> yeah, but that's a good one. I mean, I haven't, yes, I haven't watched it, but I have seen uh, a couple of clips from that. Yeah, it looks good. The blacklist too is a good. Yeah, the blacklist. That's super nice. Mm -hmm. the, the pilot. Um, the 100, mm. 100 is a yeah. other serial, it's a good too. Yeah, the, the 100, uh huh, the 100. Yeah, that, that's a good one too. I, I haven't seen the 100, I think I stopped in season two. Uh huh. Yeah, that was yes. the last, but then I didn't watch it, and I think they have included a lot of crazy things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The other, the other serie, the Scorpion. I the haven't. Scorpion, seen. Mm -hmm. The Scorpion is um, only uh, talent people, in, in super intelligent uh, the, the people. Ah, okay. The problem is that have have to the connection with the society is a is a big problem because it's a nurse, for example. Mm. Um, High intelligent, but have the problem with the with the yeah, emotional intelligence is that mm -hmm. to reduce. Okay. Uh, abstract intelligence, abstract intelligence in the top, but reduction the emotional intelligence for the um, the, the transmitter uh, other person uh, that 
afford to to say or or show that that that's something yeah yeah i think it's it's really nice the last hi, one teacher, that i good night hi mary how are you i'm fine i have a problem with my ipad <laughs> ah, uh -huh, okay yeah but now you're here <laughs> uh, yeah. excellent hi marilena Yeah, right now I'm Hi, watching. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Sorry. Good evening. How are you? Oh, mm, fine. I am good. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, we were talking with Pedro about some series that we're watching. Um, on Friday, I finished watching um, Betting in New York. <laughs> you know. Ah, uh, good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. It is very funny, <laughs> actually. I liked it. A uh, one, a uh, one hours is a uh, put the TV and uh, watch some, some the uh, ten minutes. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so, so the, the it's different. It's a uh, mm -hmm. the, the pleasure. I prefer the original. The original. Yeah, is yeah, the original the is nice. Is the second part. Yeah, but but this one is like like a modern, you know. <laughs> Yes, it's a yeah, and, I, and I and I really like it too. Let's see, what about Mary? Do you do you watch anything and, and on Netflix on Netflix, Mary? Uh, I I see a movie. Mm -hmm. I like so very much the movies. Yesterday I saw Las Milero en la celda siete. Mm. I cry every <laughs> every every movie. My God, it's so mm. sad. Really? But it's very nice. Yeah, that is, ah. that is really cool. It's really cool. Okay. Okay. And uh, what is it about? Is it about? Uh, is it action? Is it romantic or what? No, it's like a drama. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's so sad, but it's so beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we should take notes and maybe we can watch it later. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so nice. Yeah. Okay. Nice. What about Marilena? What are you watching on, on, on Netflix if you have Netflix? Um, I don't have a Netflix, uh -huh. but I'm um, watching <laughs> movie and series, series. Okay, where do you watch, um, I mean, what, what series are you watching right now? Ah, uh, right now? No, 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 no? Mm-hmm. Anything, <laughs> but, Anything. <laughs> but um, I like um, Gate of Thrones, ah. the eight season. It's uh, not good. Uh huh. Mm. Uh, the finish is no good. Yeah, the, the ending uh, is not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I watch uh, a, este. <laughs> Which one? No, it's Walking Dead. Ah, the Walking Dead. Uh, oh, walking yes, dead. the yeah. Walking Dead. I watch Elite. I yeah. Elite is nice. Uh huh. Um, C. I watch. Uh, one. Teacher, Elite is drama or comedy or what? It's drama. It's drama. It is like suspense. No, say suspense. Or say? Yeah, that's like thriller, like the the song from Michael Jackson, thriller. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh. That's thriller and also, uh, yeah. Well, most of it is drama. A little bit of investigation. But many people see it. Eh? This yeah, is serious. It, is, yeah. it, is, it is more famous in young people because yes, uh -huh. they are like things that happen in high school, supposedly, right, in mm -hmm. high school. And uh, there is a lot of, you know, like sexual relationships um, but, uh, but, with all the characters, you know, and it's kind of crazy and and, and the situations, and, uh, you know, everything. And the uh, oh, okay. uh, strong uh, content. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. There is a very 
I mean, they say a lot of nasty words. Uh, you have different nationalities. You have Mexican people. You have Spanish people. Yeah, you have mm -hmm. a, a you have a lot. Actually, it's a it's a good one. And uh, but yeah, there is a lot of sex involved in mm -hmm. all that. For this, for the reason my teenager song. <laughs> he told me, I want to see it. I want to see it. <laughs> My God. Today yeah. I see Deja Vu. Deja Vu. Ah, okay. With Denzel Washington, is a good movie. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Yeah. There are a lot of movies, actually. And now that we are at home, we can spend some time to watch the movies with the family members, you know. Uh, yeah. But there are some movies on, or some series that are not not appropriate for everybody. Yeah, for the kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But still, I mean, I consider that nowadays with technology, if you say no to a teenager, don't don't watch that series. They will find a way to to do it. <laughs> they will find a way to to watch. Uh, the, yes. Yeah, they they always will find a way to to, to work. Mm. I'm sorry, I made, I made a mistake. This is not your presentation, it's another one. <laughs> okay, this one is Yeah, but yeah, I mean, it's it's nice, but uh, if you say no, I think it, that is like a push to, to say, okay, I'm going to watch it somewhere else. <laughs> so sometimes it, yeah. is better, it is better to watch it together, you know, or, or something, or just to give the permission. Oh, oh see if the first and later is, uh -huh. you think is appropriate for the kids. Mm -hmm. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Even though everything is fiction, right? You know that everything is fiction, so I don't think there's a problem. Yeah, yeah but, but still. All right. Um, so, uh -huh. the Victorious, Victorious High School. Ah, Victorious, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, that, that's like a teenager's. Uh, <laughs> A teenager's show. Uh -huh. All right, excellent. So, uh, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for making the time. Hi, Luis. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Very good. A nice. Better. All right. But thank you. Thank you for joining us. Um, today we're going to start uh, understanding the last two topics. Okay, from section number five. Yesterday we practiced a little bit on the previous topics. But now we're going to see the first part of this first topic, okay? Which is making plans or talking about the future, okay? Talking about the future. Actually, there are two ways. Well, there are many ways in which we can say sentences uh, in the future, but we're going to see two of them that are pretty similar and you will be able to identify uh, some exercises in the platform using this, okay? So um, we're going to practice this conversation first. So listen to me. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six, okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great, okay? So listen, oh, by the way, do you, do you see any new word? A word that you don't understand that you have never seen before? Mm. What's the meaning of either? Either. It is a contraction oh, of? Uh -huh. I would. I, yeah. I it is a contraction of, uh -huh. of what? Mm. What cool. is a contraction? Uh -huh. Cool. Could? Well. There is another one that is pretty similar to could. I will. I will. Oh, Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Would. Okay. Would. So this is the contraction of would. I would love to. Okay, I would love to. So listen once, uh, listen once again, and then I will, uh, I will ask you to practice with you. So say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. 
oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Um, tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, after work, uh, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. What is the meaning of afterward, people? Después de? Yeah, or like later, uh -huh. later we can do this, okay? Later maybe we can, uh, we can get some dinner. Okay, afterward, afterward, okay? Let's see, Mary, you're going to be Lynn. Luis, you're going to be Miguel, okay? Uh, okay, just a question. Yes. How do you translate say? Uh, hey. Hey. Hey, Miguel. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll start. Yep. Go uh, for it. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can't. I go to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, afterward maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, excellent, nice. Let's see, now um, Marielena, you're going to be Lynn, and Pedro, you're going to be Miguel. Say Miguel. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I would love to, uh, but I can't. I am going to to a soccer match. Soccer, uh -huh. soccer match with my brother. Oh well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow, so I'm fine. I am going to work until five. So let's go among six. Around okay. six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can summer some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, perfect. Okay, nice. So, uh, if you see in this conversation, uh, these people are making plans for what to do after work. Okay, after work. And um, um, yeah, those are some phrases that we're going to learn how to use. We're going to learn how to use uh, ing, but in two different forms. Okay, in two different forms. So the first one that we're going to see is, well, we have future. In this case, we're going to study future, but we have two different types of tenses. We have the present continuous, okay, which is the, the one that we're going to see today. And tomorrow, we're going to see how to use the future using going to, okay? Because the two of them are for the future. The only difference is the structure. And I need to make sure that you know the structure of this, okay? At the end, I will show you uh, the first part of the exercise in the platform, because for this topic, uh, the exercise is divided in part one and part two. And after today's class, después de la clase de hoy, you can do part one, and tomorrow you can do part two, okay? So okay. we are going to see how this works. Uh, present continuous, okay? Present continuous, that's the first thing that we're going to see, present continuous. Now, as you see, or as you may remember, uh, we can use the present continuous to talk about things that are happening right now. For example, I can say I am speaking, you are listening, uh, maybe you are writing, uh, maybe you are uh, listening to the teacher, you are thinking, okay? Those are some activities that you do. And when you want to, when you want to describe what you are doing right now, you use the present continuous, okay? Or the present progressive. That is the same name, okay? El mismo number para el mismo, el mismo tense. Present continuous or present progressive. So I know that 
if I describe, for example, if I say I am speaking in English, I am, I am describing what I am doing right now, but how can I use the present continuous for the future? That is how, how that is what we are going to see, okay? I know that you know how to use the present continuous. Yo sé que el present continuous ya pudieron haberlo estudiado antes. Eh, bueno, de hecho tuvieron que haberlo estudiado antes. Entonces, solo para que nos acordemos un poco, traigo un pequeño juego, ¿ok? Probablemente los que, los que estuvieron con el módulo pasado conmigo se acuerdan de una imagen parecida a esta. Okay. Si se fijan en este caso, hay bastantes personas haciendo, de, haciendo diferentes actividades, ¿ok? Entonces, usted puede decir, no, no sé, the person is um, talking, the person is crying, etc. ¿Ok? So, de todas las personas que están acá, yo voy a elegir a una. ¿Ok? Solamente a una. Y usted va a tratar de adivinar de qué, de, de, en qué persona estoy pensando. Ahora, para preguntarme de qué persona estoy, en, en qué persona estoy pensando, me tiene que hacer esta pregunta. Lo voy a escribir aquí abajo. Is the person, ok, y en ese espacio usted va a meter cualquier actividad que la persona esté haciendo, ok. Por ejemplo, is the person um, running, ok, is the person eating, ok, cualquier actividad que usted vea y que usted crea que yo estoy pensando en esa persona me la tiene que preguntar. Ahora, se puede hacer cualquier cuestión que, o cualquier cosa que la persona esté haciendo o también que alguien esté usando, ¿ok? Así como la ropa. Entonces usted me puede preguntar, ¿Is the person wearing? Y me dice el color de la camisa, del pantalón o de lo que sea, ¿ok? Entonces eso nos va a ayudar a que practiquemos el present continuous, porque yo sé que ya lo pueden usar. Únicamente quiero que se acuerden de cómo se usa, así en general, para luego pasar al futuro, ¿ok? Esto es ahorita en el presente. Solo quiero que nos acordemos así fácilmente y rápidamente. Eh, del present continuous, ok, entonces lo voy a poner aquí, so, déjeme buscar a una persona, hmm. ok, ya tengo a la persona, entonces ahora me tiene que hacer preguntas, una vez más se lo voy a enseñar aquí, ok, lo voy a dejar ahí porque creo que la, sí, la persona que estoy pensando está en el cuadrante que están viendo ahorita en su pantalla, ok, entonces hágame preguntas, uh -huh. Is the person y luego la, la actividad que la persona está haciendo. Is the person buying food? Is the person buying food? No, no, eh, no, it isn't. No voy a decir todavía si es chico o chica. <laughs> Is the person wearing shorts? Is the person wearing shorts? No, it isn't. The person is working. Is the person working? In the, in the working in the first floor. Is the person working in the first floor? No, it isn't. Is the person is painting? Is the person uh, what? Is painting. Is painting. Mm -hmm. Painting, like a like, wall. Yeah, no, like uh, a, a, a row. Ah, know. like a like a picture. Yes. Ah, uh, no, no, it isn't. No. Mm -hmm. The person wears a hat. Is the person wearing a hat? Uh -huh. no, 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 olvidemos de poner el ing. Okay, wearing a hat. Ah, uh, yes, wearing it is. Uh -huh. Yes, it oh. is. Mm -hmm. The hat is color red. Ok, uh, usamos el, el, el continuous. ¿Cómo sería el continuous ahí? Uh, the person is using a uh, wearing the, uh, the, the hat, the, the hat color red. Ah, ok. Is the person wearing a red hat? Uh -huh. A red hat? Uh, no, it isn't. Mm -hmm. Is the person wearing a brown hat? Is the person wearing a brown hat? No, it isn't. <laughs> My God. Is the person wearing a, a purple? Purple sweater? 
purple. No, the hat. A purple hat. No, it isn't. No. The person is wearing a skate. The person is wearing skates. Uh, no, it isn't. Is the person walking along? Is the person walking along? Yes, it is. Is the person on this on this skis? Ah, uh, is the person wearing skis? Uh, no, it isn't. The person is wearing a red shirt. Red shirt. No, it isn't. The uh, person is woman or is boy? Okay, it is a woman. I'm going to give a you woman. a clue. Yeah, it's a woman. Uh -huh. She's in the stay in the first floor on the second floor. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, that's another clue. Uh, <laughs> she's on the second floor. Uh -huh. The second floor, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, I will do it. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> the second floor. Is the person using a handbag? Is the person using a handbag? No, he, no, she isn't. My goodness. Mm -hmm. Or in the second floor, nobody could my use. Oh. Uh -huh. um, no. She's walking along. She's Tell walking me. alone. Uh huh. She's wearing a yellow wallet. No. A yellow wallet. Uh, no, she isn't. No. Mm -hmm. Is the person oh. wearing dress also? Purple dress. No, she isn't. This person. She is a uh, all. Oldest or younger? She is old. Uh huh. Okay. She is a. Uh, she is wearing a green hat. She is wearing a green hat. Yes. Okay. You found. Uh, it. I found yeah. it. Yeah. It's here. Yeah. Okay. It's here. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's an old woman. She's wearing a, a green hat. She's wearing glasses, and she's wearing a. a Dresses. I yeah. don't listen green. Uh-huh. A green, a green blouse. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Okay, I found it. <laughs> okay, nice. Now let's see, Pedro. Now choose a person, please. Only one person. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, we're going to do this uh, a little bit more uh, quicker, okay, quicker. We're going to do this quicker. Is it a boy or a woman? Tell us, I, so that is easier. <laughs> woman. A woman, okay. Now people, let's ask. Uh, In the second on the first floor. <laughs> it's more easy. First floor. In the first floor. In the first floor, okay. Okay. Yes. This person is a boy. Um, younger or no? Um, she's younger. She's young, okay. Uh, is a person, um, I don't know, there are so many young people here. <laughs> okay. Is the person wearing a hat? No. Okay. Not using the hat. The person. Mm -hmm. Is the person wearing a boots, a red boots? Uh, no, no. The person don't use in a red. Mm -hmm. Is the person is um, woman or man? It's a woman. It's a woman. woman. Do you remember it? younger? <laughs> yeah, it's a young, younger it's a... woman. It's a young woman, okay. Uh, is a woman wearing a, a yellow uh, sweater? 
uh, in the color, the high. <laughs> ah, the hair is yellow. Mm -hmm. No, the it's the forest, but the hair, what color is? Ah, the hair. Mm. Ah, the hair. Hair. The hair is yellow. No. Nope. Ah, okay. The sweater. The sweater, the sweater is, yellow. is yellow. It's a forest. Ah, okay. It's forest. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> This uh, I uh, like a la de pelito corto. <laughs> Which one? Similar, similar Dora. Similar Dora. Uh, this. <laughs> that one? Sí. Similar Dora. La Is that Dora. one? Sí. Is that sí. one Pedro? Yeah. Sí. Ah, okay. Dora. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice, nice, excellent. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, sí. the, yeah, it was almost in the center, so I, I think that was kind of easy. Let's see, uh, Mary, you're going to be the last one, and then if we have time, we're going to go back, okay? So let's see, Mary, do you have a person okay. now? Um, wait, uh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have the person. Okay, you have the person, okay. Uh, is it a boy or a woman? A woman. A woman, okay. Now people, let's ask. This woman is uh, the first floor or the second? Mm -hmm. The first. The first floor, okay. Uh, is the woman sitting? No. Okay. No, she's not sitting. Mm -hmm. The woman is younger or old? Younger. She's younger. Uh -huh. She's young. Yeah. Okay. And the person uh, where is wearing gloves? Uh -huh. Gloves, guantes? No. Is a woman wearing a hat? Wearing hat? Uh huh. No. No. Mm -hmm. Is a person, person wearing a yellow clothes or a sweater? A yellow sweater? No. The person is walking? No. The person wow. is hand, ha, handbag? No. The person is the person standing. Yep. Ah, okay. So <laughs> it, she is not walking, but she's standing. Uh -huh. Yep. Okay. This is standing. Standing. Yep. Uh -huh. Parado. Parado. Ah. Uh -huh. The person is uh, wearing the red shirt. Excuse me? The person is wearing the red shirt. No. Or no. sweater. No. Is the person wearing green uh, sweater? Green. Uh -huh. no. Hmm. no. The person <laughs> uh, have hair brown. Brown, I uh, no. Is is the person wearing a purple a purple uh, sweater? No. Jesus. <laughs> is the person alone? Is the person what? Alone, or more people? With more alone. people. Mm -hmm. Alone? More people yeah. around in front of her. She's there are more. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. There are more people in front of her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The person is near in the stairs. Near the stairs, cerca de las escaleras. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, maybe, yes, yes. Hmm. <laughs> Is a person buying a sweater? A sweater? Uh -huh. No. Is the person painting? No. Come on. Because she is a girl. It's not a woman. Ah, yeah, true. <laughs> it's an old. It's an old woman, right? Yeah. And younger. Okay. Ah, you said young. Mm, yes. Middle. Ah, okay. Is the is the is the person wearing a, a a pink sweater? No. <laughs> Yellow sweater? No. Oh my God. Okay, I give you the other the other uh -huh. clown. Please yeah. do. She is not wearing a a coat. She's a not sweater. wearing a uh -huh. no. she's not wearing a sweater. No. She don't have a gloves. Uh -huh. And she is busy. Okay. <laughs> she's busy. Yeah. She's working there. <laughs> ah, okay. In the store. In the store. In the store. Uh, not in the store. It is like a, it is like a, I don't know. Is she selling clothes? Nope. Ah. Oh. No. <laughs> ah, is she selling ice cream? Not ice cream. Oh my god. <laughs> is the is the woman a yeah. near the no sé cómo se dice señor de nieve ahí el cosito ahí. Snowman? Uh -huh. Snowman. Uh -huh. Where is the snowman? Snowman. Yes. The, the woman is near or far? Ah, this woman. Hey, this is in front. The snowman. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is she? Uh -uh. She is selling food, boys. Oh my God. <laughs> ah, yeah. That, I thought it was ice cream. <laughs> no, that's not ice cream. It's food. Ah. I think that it's food or not. It's food. I don't know. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was this, like selling, uh, vendiendo ropa. <laughs> Oh, no. Selling clothes. Uh -huh. Sorry. Uh, okay. Nobody win. <laughs> yeah, nobody won. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, that was, that was <laughs> difficult. Yeah, we were thinking about other things, but not that woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, so um, I don't know how to erase it. <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah, I have it here. Okay, perfect. Okay, so um, now we're going to continue and we are going to see, um, first of all, this is how we use the, 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 the present continuous, okay? Those are some actions that people are doing in the moment and that's correct, okay? Now, how do we make a difference between the present and the future? Well, first of all, we need to understand that we need to use these time expressions, okay? Así es como hacemos la diferencia entre el presente y, y el futuro. En el presente podemos decir lo que está haciendo cada persona. Pero si queremos hacer la diferencia, únicamente usamos estas, estas, estos, estas frases de, de futuro. Okay? Por ejemplo, tomorrow, tonight. Bueno, imaginémonos que ahorita fuese en la mañana y si decimos tonight, eso quiere decir que va a ser dentro de un futuro cercano. Okay? Tonight. Uh, on Thursday or on Friday. Uh, this weekend. Uh, this month, this year, okay. Como el, bueno, en ese caso el mes ya se terminó, pero si hubiese sido, eh, si digamos que ya estamos en el primero de abril, en el primero de abril, este mes todavía es futuro porque no ha terminado, okay. Igual este año, this year. O puede ser lo contrario, next weekend, next month, or next year, okay. Entonces, estas frases nos van a ayudar a que a nosotros se nos haga fácil eh, crear oraciones. Uh, using the present continuous or the present progressive in the future, okay? And I have an example here. I just need to use the subject uh, and this, because I can say this. Just let me cover it for a second. Yeah. 
I can say I am playing video games. For example, if I am take if I take my cell phone and I can say, yes, I am playing video games. Okay, that is something that I that I am doing right now. Okay, that's something that I'm doing right now. But if I change the phrase, the time expression, and I say this, I am playing video games after the class. That is the future. Okay, that is the future because that time expression is about the future. Right now, I am in class, but maybe after the class. I am playing video games, okay? So the one that is telling me the future is the time expression. Lo que me ayuda a determinar cuando eso sería en el futuro es la frase esa, okay? De, de tiempo, okay? Y si se fijan, la estructura es de, un, es de una oración de, de present continuous, okay? De algo que pudiera estar pasando ahorita. La única diferencia es que la frase nos, nos indica que va a ser en el futuro, okay? Let's see. She's, a, she's a sleeping in my house. For example, si alguien le pregunta, where is your mother? Ah, she's sleeping in my house, okay? Eso puede ser que esté pasando ahorita. She's sleeping in my house, okay? But if your mother is not in your house and you say, she's sleeping in my house tonight, okay? Ah, esta noche va a dormir ahí, okay? Pero ahorita no, pero más noche sí, okay? She's sleeping in my house tonight. Uh, we are finishing the module this Thursday, okay? We are finishing the module this Thursday. If you see, the structure, la estructura de la oración, is uh, the present continuous, okay? But the time expression is telling me the future, okay? Aquí la frase esta me está diciendo que es el futuro, okay? Ahora, how, how do I make this negative? Okay, very simple. I just need to include not over here, okay? I am not playing video games after the class, okay? I am not playing video games after the class. What about she is sleeping? How is this negative? Mm -hmm. How do I make that one negative? I'm not sleeping. Yeah, but she? She's not. Uh-huh. She's not, uh, sorry, she's not sleeping in my house or she isn't mm -hmm. sleeping in my house, okay? She isn't sleeping in my house. We are finishing the module this Thursday. What is the negative? We are not. Mm -hmm. We are not finishing the module this Thursday. Okay? So that is how we make affirmative and negative sentences in the future, but using present continuous. Okay? Present continuous. Now we are going to see the questions, the same thing. Okay? Lo mismo pasa con las questions. Okay? Um, solo voy a cubrir esto para que no nos confundamos y veamos la comparación between present and future, okay? Am I playing video games ahorita? Do you see that I am playing video games right now? No. No, right? Ahorita I am speaking, okay? I am teaching, okay? So that is what I'm doing right now. But what about the future? Am I playing video games after the class? Ah, oh, probably, <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Okay. Yes, I am. In this case, remember that we have two answers. Yes or no. Okay. It can be yes, I am, because the question is with am. Okay. Or no, I am not. Okay. Because the question is with am. If the question is with is, you need to answer with is. Okay. Affirmative or negative. If the question is with are, you need to answer uh, also with uh, yes or no, using are in affirmative or aren't for negative, okay? Let's see another example here. Well, okay. we're going to make she's sleeping in my house tonight. How do you think is that a question? She's sleeping in my house tonight. Let's see, um, Pedro, how, how can I make this a question? She's sleeping in my house tonight. Mm -hmm. According okay. to the structure, yeah, how, how do I make this uh, a question following mm -hmm. the structure that I have here that I have to use the verb to be first? Oh, okay. Yeah, how, what is a question in this case? Uh -huh. To make a question, is she? Yeah, mm -hmm. is she? Is, is she sleeping in, in my house? In my house tonight? Okay. Excellent, okay. Is she sleeping in my house tonight? 
Let's see, Luis, what are the two answers? Yes, she is. Yes, she is, and no? She isn't. Well, uh -huh. she's no, not. she isn't, okay, or she is not, excellent, okay? And the last one, we are finishing the module this Thursday. Marielena, how is the question for this sentence? Mm -hmm. Are we? Are we? Are we? What? Are we finishing? Finishing? Finishing the module. Okay, the module this Thursday, okay. Uh, let's see, Mary, what are the answers? Yes, yes we are. Uh -huh, yes we are, and no? No we aren't. No we aren't, okay, excellent, okay. So if you see, uh, I know that you know the structure for the present continuous. Yo sé que ya saben la estructura del present continuous, okay. So por eso no me estoy deteniendo mucho, porque creo que está bastante fácil, okay. Activities that we are doing right now, but now, with the time expression, I am doing it in the future, okay? Solamente con esa frase ya eh, automáticamente la, 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 la oración cambió de ser presente y pasó a ser futuro, okay? All right. Any yeah. question hasta ahorita? No, teacher. Tonight is Thursday, okay? Solo para que nos acordemos, eh, tenemos algunas eh, WH questions, ¿ok? Tenemos algunas preguntas de, de, de información. En ese caso no se pueden responder con yes or no, sino que tiene que ser una oración completa. Y a eso, eh, dependiendo de lo que nos está preguntando, así podemos responder. Por ejemplo, who is asking about a person, ¿ok? Who nos pregunta de una persona. What? Nos pregunta de alguna cosa. Where? A place. Okay. Why? A reason. And how? Manner. Also, we have when. But when is for time sometimes too. Okay. When. And let's see these examples. Vamos a ver estas preguntas. Si yo le pregunto a alguien, are you eating after the class? ¿Cómo me puede responder? Are you eating after the class? No sé, cualquier persona. Let's see. Uh, Marilena, are you eating after the class? Yes, I eating. Okay, yes, I am. Okay, very simple. Uh -huh. Yes, I am. Pero qué pasa si le agrego el what? What are you eating after the class? ¿Me va a responder yes? ¿O me va a responder no? Uh -huh. Ajá. Me está haciendo y, otro tipo. De... Ajá, en ese caso es otro tipo de pregunta. Entonces ahí ya sería qué, okay? What are you eating after the class? Uh, what are you eating after the class, Maria Elena? I am hamburger. I am eating uh, a hamburger. A hamburger, nice. A hamburger. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Give us food, please. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay. I am eating a hamburger. Okay. I am eating a hamburger. So in that case. That is a complete question. Entonces, ahí como para que vean que dentro de una pregunta de información hay una pregunta de sí o no. Ok. Así que está muy fácil hacerlas. Únicamente tiene que primero poder hacer una yes, no. Y luego solo agregarle cualquiera de estas, eh, cualquiera de estas palabras para cambiar totalmente el significado de la, oración, de la pregunta en este caso. Um, let's see. Um, Luis, are you buying the groceries this week? Groceries are, uh, for example, food, toilet paper, um, I don't know, bread, cookie for your house, okay? Are you buying, are you buying the groceries this week? Yes, I am. Yes, I, yes you are, okay, excellent. Now, if I ask you this, where are you buying the groceries this week? Uh -huh. What is the answer? ¿Qué respondería in that case? Uh -huh. 
What is the meaning of where? Donde. Donde. Uh huh. Exactly. So, Luis, where are you buying the groceries this week? Mm -hmm. In this case, is I'm buying the groceries on the supermarket. Okay. Perfect. Okay. At the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Or you can say the specific place, like I am buying the groceries at Super Selectos, at Maxi Spencer, at Walmart, or whatever, okay? Or it can be the supermarket, because the supermarket is a place, so that's fine, okay? Let's see. Um, uh, Mary, this question is kind of tricky, okay? Esa pregunta es un poco capciosa. Porque si se fija cuando yo le digo, are you doing after the quarantine? Eh, como que no está muy claro, ¿verdad? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Haciendo qué, tipo, right? So, in that case, eh, cuando... Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Cuando estamos usando el verbo doing, no me tiene que responder con doing, porque doing es la actividad que usted estaría haciendo. Pero en ese caso, la yes no question no tiene sentido. Este tipo de estructura mm -hmm. únicamente se utiliza para what. ¿Ok? Así como se lo dijo. What are you doing okay. after the quarantine? Okay. Entonces, ahí usted me tiene que decir qué actividad va a estar haciendo. Mm -hmm. I am? I am going to the gym. I am going to the gym. Okay. Right now or after the quarantine? After the quarantine. Ah, okay. After the quarantine. So that is in the future, right? Yes. That is in the future. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. So did you see people? Ahora se fijaron eh, cómo usamos el, pres, el present progressive. Ups, Teacher, no, but no when you, you you doing, uh -huh. is como, se puede hacer como right now or the future. You can use the, the two ways. Yeah, you, you can use it the two ways because if you if I ask you, uh, Mary, what are you doing right now? <laughs> okay. Ah, I am, I am receiving okay. a class, okay? Or I am learning English, uh -huh. practicing English. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Solo que aquí, si se fijan, yeah, había cometido thanks. un error. Yeah, no problem. <coughs> un error. No puse el, 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 el... After the class. Ajá, uh -huh. no puse el tiempo. Entonces, si usted decía, I am eating a hamburger, pensé que ahorita lo estaba comiendo. Y no es ahorita, sino que after mm -hmm. the class. That is the future, okay? The same thing here, this week. Y aquí también, after the quarantine, ¿ok? Entonces, así es como utilizamos el present progressive or the present continuous using uh, the, um, using uh, the future, ¿ok? So, solo déjenme mostrarle eh, la primera parte de la plataforma, solo por si casualidad no la he hecho. Y si ya la hizo, pues, ahora ya va a entender qué es lo que hizo, ¿ok? Um, yeah. Como le repetía, ese, este tema está dividido en dos, el, el present continuous y el going to. Mañana vamos a ver el going to. Okay? Así que igual esa es una estructura muy, muy parecida, pero no es igualita. Es un detallito nada más ahí el que, el que, en el que nos tenemos que fijar para poder realizar esto. Okay? Así que solo déjenme mostrarle eso. Para que si no lo ha hecho, ahí lo puede hacer. Okay, ¿Qué dice? Complete the invitations, complete las invitaciones usando el presente continuo como futuro. Okay. Aquí tiene que usar los verbos y los pronombres que están entre paréntesis. Entonces, ¿qué significa? Únicamente cambiar el verbo a ing. Okay. Por ejemplo, number one. What? Tonight. What are you doing? Uh -huh. What are you doing tonight? What are you doing tonight? Mm -hmm. What are you doing tonight? Okay. Uh -huh. Y en este caso tengo una yes no question. Okay. Únicamente tiene que acordarse de la estructura que estuvimos usando. Okay. <laughs> Igual acá. Okay. Son, son, uh -huh. son cuatro, permítame, son cuatro eh, oraciones las que tiene que usar usando el present continuous, así como lo acabamos de ver. Eh, pero aquí solo requiere que use el present continuous, no, no requiere que use toda la oración, porque acá en la oración ya tiene el, 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 
el time expiration, okay? que sería por ejemplo aquí Friday night, tonight, on Sunday, next weekend, ok. Doing. Ya incluye. Dicho eh, en el segundo segmento, ¿qué estás haciendo tú? Sí, ¿qué estás haciendo? Aquí okay. la única diferencia es que no dice what. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Yes, dígame, Pedro. En el próximo episodio, la única función es la forma contractual. Where? And the verb to be, part two is no I am going, it's I am. It's apostrophe M. It's only only put the, the information. In the next if part. You put, if you put I am, and the, the platform part. is like a worst. In the correct. Ah, but in the second part. The contraction. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The contraction. Yeah, in the second part, yes. Uh -huh. Apostrophe M going to be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, yeah, but, no uh, aceptable de plataforma. I am going to be. I'm mm -hmm, not mm -hmm. aceptable de plataforma. Mm -hmm, okay. Only yeah. the contraction. Only the contraction. Yeah. Okay, but yes. in this case, uh, en este caso, en la primera parte, creo que no da problema en eso. Solamente en la segunda. Ya mañana nos metemos de lleno a la segunda. Ahorita nada más enfoquemos. En eso. Okay. In this part. En estas primeras cuatro que usan el present continuous eh, como futuro. Okay. Así que si usted no ha llegado a esta parte y mañana la está haciendo y tiene problemas con estas primeras cuatro, eh, me manda un mensaje y yo le ayudo. Y okay? le oriento de, de cómo debería de hacer. All right. Y okay. mañana vemos el going to, que sería la otra parte para el future. Ok. Any question? Okay. No. 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 Ok. Perfect. Good night. Ok. Good night. Everybody have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye.